One way to explore a new town is from the seat of a bicycle. More cities and small towns are planning bike-friendly communities, and they make for great travel destinations. So senior editor of Orbits.com, Janine Tornator, is here to share some of those mid-sized cities that are doing it right. Because you know the big cities. First, good morning to you. Good morning. You know the big cities like New York, Chicago. We know that they have great biking paths. But these are sort of the hidden gems. What are we talking right. about? These are places you might not expect to be able to go there, go to a bike shop, run a bike, and find great bike paths all around town and seeing great attractions and sites along the way. So some of them being, what are some of these cities? So Memphis, Tennessee, um, not one you might expect to see via bike. Actually, by Bicycle Magazine in 2014, was named the most improved bike city in the country. They have over 60 miles of paved paths, uh, off-road biking, um, and they have great outdoor concert series, barbecue competitions, a huge new retail development right along the Mississippi River, all of these that you can ride to. They have great interactive maps, so you can check out the Visit Memphis website and find some really great ways to see the city. And wonderful because you're not renting a car, which is why some other cities are following suit. It's more that you have, like, the, the more smaller towns. Yeah, absolutely. So my next one is Fort Collins, Colorado. Hmm. It's a college town at the foot of the Rockies, a beautiful community. They're really known for uh, the beauty of this town, the breweries, and their bike paths. Um, um, they actually are one of the first towns to have an earlier uh, bike sharing program. It's called the Fort Collins Bicycle Library. You can rent bikes. They have maps they give out and um, even self-guided tours. So you can take a brewery tour via your bike, um, a historic tour of homes in the city. Mm -hmm. and it's just a fantastic way. It's actually, even though it's near the mountains, it's relatively flat terrain. So it's an easy way to see this beautiful town. And you also say Sacramento? Sacramento, yes. So there are 30 miles of scenic paths along the um, River Parkway here, which is really what it's known for. Um, and then Old Sacramento, they've been making more um, dedicated bike lanes in this area. And then there's the Northern Bike Trail where you can get out, see some of the historic communities and a little more of this rural area. This is really the farm to table kind of capital of the country. Um, so there's beautiful areas outside the city as well. Which has become bike. really popular. San Antonio also on your list. Yes, you know, this is a community that's all about art and history mm -hmm. and great culture. And they're really up and coming. They have their own bike share program. You can actually put your bike on a bike rack on their city metro buses. Um, there's a 10 mile path out to the Mission Reach area, which goes through some beautiful wildlife areas out to the 18th century um, missions that were out there. So there's lots of things to see along the city. They also have neighborhood bike maps that you can check out as well. And it's so great to do this because it gives you a family vacation for not a lot of money and you get to see so many attractions. So that's some great yeah. advice for biking vacations. Janine Tornesfor from Orbits.com. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure.